Yeah, hello. Yep, I'm back. It happens. How's everybody? Don't worry. Just look. It'll show up in the, the three looks, one palette. This is one of them from the Profusion Pro Pigments. Anyway, I'm here to talk about other stuff. This is a thrifting kind of haul. Now, the shirt I'm wearing, thrift store. <laughs> I've got several others. They'll, they'll show up here and there. The big one, though, is the one I scored today. Now, this wasn't at a thrift store. I was on Facebook Marketplace for the local stuff. And this young lady, we'll just call her E, was selling off some jewelry. Now, she was selling it off, not piece at a time, but in lots. One of the lots is right here around my neck currently. Well, at least part of it is. It's got earrings to match. Now this, again, is not the whole lot. I'm waiting for the glue to dry on there so I can show you the whole thing eventually. In the box that this came, with, came in for the lot, one of the things that was in it is this piece of glory. That the young lady bought while on the streets of Patty for her high school senior trip. This thing is gorgeous. The rest of the box is just full of bits and bobs and pieces. There's another pair of earrings in here. Da -da -dum. And little bracelets and beads and things and, you know, just stuff. Now, she's selling these lots. I wasn't too fussed about the fact that each lot was running about eight bucks. This is a lot of jewelry for eight bucks. Now, I bought two lots, which means I paid 16. This is the second box. Now, this one doesn't have as many pieces, but let me tell you. This is a spectacular find. I was happy to give the woman eight bucks for these. I'm not crying. Most of these are glass seed beads with some other bits and bobs. She decided she needed to clear out some stuff. I decided I would be happy to assist her in this. So, yeah, I've got this absolutely gorgeous thing. Like I said, I've got earrings. I'm waiting for the glue to dry so that I can put them through the holes. And all that silliness. Da da da. So I stuck these in while I'm waiting. But yeah. Look around at stuff. Have a look at your thrift stores and your yard sales and 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 
things like the Facebook Marketplace, where you can find stuff. Now, with this look in particular, I decided to try out that, that fox eye thing. I don't know that I did it all that well. And the thing is, with, with hooded eyes, you're not going to see the flash that's down here, except when I blink. And I can't do that that much without getting dizzy. Now, the other thing that's driving me a little bit nuts is the lip color. I got this in an Ipsy bag. It's NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And the color is called Copenhagen. And I'm like, okay. I mean, yeah. The coverage on my mouth currently is from two tiny dots. And I do mean tiny dots. Let me show you. See, little dot, little dot, little bitty dot. This stuff smears out all over the place. So, you know, it's like even just a couple of little splotches is enough to go from one side of your mouth to the other side of the room. And I'm like, geez. That's it. And it just goes everywhere. And it feels really, really, really emollient. As it, while it does it, it just literally goes everywhere. Love it. Real pretty color. Have to be careful with it. So, yeah. Did the up angles and did the up angles with the blush and the highlight and all that stuff. You'll have to tell me what you think. You know, cleaned it up on the edges so there's a nice sharp edge and all that stuff. And I'm going, who the heck comes up with the names for these things? Fox Eye? Come on. Not so much. I mean, I've got lighter stuff down in here and the darker stuff here and it's fox eye. Somebody must have been bored. Anyway, that's the first look. It'll be pictures at the end of the last one. Once I do my thir th second and third looks for the Pro Pigments palette. Anyway, yes, I say that a lot. Check your local, you know, whatever you want to call flea market or thrift store or a secondhand store or people just, you know, wanting to offload some stuff. You can find some interesting stuff. I've even gotten, you know, found people who are selling brand new makeup that came in like, you know, a subscription box. They don't want it. They haven't touched it. And they're going, here, I'll sell it for reasonable. You find some interesting stuff that way. That's how I got that Butter London Natural Goddess lady in town was selling off stuff from her subscription boxes. 
give it a look. Go out and play. All right, put your mask on and make sure you keep your hands clean. Take some sanitizer with you. But, you know, have a look. The way we did it was she came out of her house. I got out of the car. We got close enough for me to have a look at some of the stuff while I had my mask on. We stood as far apart as possible and were able to exchange boxes and funds and went on about ourselves. And that's the way it worked. Unfortunately, when I'm trying to get rid of some stuff, things that I would normally take to the local thrift store, they're not they're back to not taking any um, donations because we're now up to 90-something cases of you-know-what. No fun. Hello, choo-choo train. Yes, I live close to the tracks. It happens. We get choo-choo twine. That's about it, I think. I mean, I did a major, well, closer to major update just a bit ago, as in like it posted sometime this morning or yesterday. I'm confused. It's gotten to be that way. No, it was for Saturday. It posted way early Saturday, and today is Sunday. Well, at least here. About now. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's going on 7 o'clock on Sunday evening Pacific time here in little bitty Oregon on the eastern side. Tell me what you think. Take care of yourselves, wash your hands, wear your mask, maintain your distance. We're getting even closer to time to vote. Go ye therefore and register if you haven't. If you have and you have early voting, go vote. If you're like Oregon and we've been doing mail-in ballots for like ever, don't let them tell you your ballots don't count because it was a mail-in ballot. If you live close enough to a official drop box that's not necessarily a mailbox, drive to it, drop it off. Also remember, if somebody is aggravating you something, Fierce, make sure they throw the first punch because I don't have bail money. I cannot get you out of it. Sorry, guys. Keep your hands to yourself unless you're defending yourself. That's the way it works. Be good. <laughs>